Hey, how's it going? I'm Project Inc. Once again, happy holidays, motherfuckers. So, um, the only reason why I'm making this video is uh, uh, someone commented on my previous video from a couple years ago saying, fuck Twisted. And I'm not saying fuck Twisted. It was a whole point of, what the fuck did they do with Wicked and Heartbroken and Homicidal? It, it, to me, it was very mediocre, and I expected a lot more from Twisted, pretty much. Uh, it was more violent than that, my video. But anyway, <clears throat> this whole video is about why you think... Uh, I how, The way I think of Twisted left and, and what I feel about it. Personally, I seen it coming. Um, you I kind of uh, seen that at the uh, Hollow Wicked in Detroit. First off, Twisted just put out a brand new fucking album, Abomination, which was off the fucking charts. And I agree, it, it was probably the best fucking piece of music that came out of Psychopathic in the last 10 years. Other than, I would say, Opeg Brotherhood is pretty close. I don't know. I just have a personal uh, attachment to that CD uh, for other reasons. But <clears throat> Abomination was was sick. And uh, as Child's Play Ninja said, uh, I was thinking about it even before I even watched this video. I was like, when did uh, you ever hear Abomination coming out? You kind of had to look for it. You know, you knew Mighty Death Pop was coming out from years and years to come. Like, they fucking promoted the shit out of that until you were like, okay, I'm fucking sick of it. Like, let's get this shit over and done with it, see if it's even worth the hype. You know? At, at, at this point of uh, Psychopathic's career, you can't really keep your hopes up because you'll be disappointed. And that's the way I felt with the last two Twisted albums. And you know what? Twisted actually um, came through and they fucking did the wicked shit. And I would say, hands down, it was one of the best uh, CDs that they ever fucking came out. Um, so, I kind of thought something was sketchy when I went to Hollywick in Detroit, and Twisted wasn't even mentioned. Not to say, yo, go check out new fucking Abomination. Like, it fucking just came out. Like, they didn't show up to Hollywick, they never shamed, uh, came to the, the, the after party. I was like, this is fucking really weird. That's very unlike Twisted, because Twisted is, if up there with ICP or more, you know, there's a lot more Twisted Juggalos than, than ICP Juggalos, because what ICP's been doing over the last couple of years is, have, have, hasn't been um, up to par, you know? Um, with that being said, um, that's one of the biggest reasons why I think uh, Twisted has left. Um, promotion, it would be a big thing. Um, they're not doing it for Twisted. Twisted has ideas that they want to do. Maybe they want to tour, uh, certain spots in the country, and Psychopathic is like, no, it's not worth it. <clears throat> like, Canada! Like, who says that, uh, Twisted can't come into Canada? I, I'm unsure if they can physically come to Canada. I know Boondocks did, and say with Blaze, um, a few years back. And they did a little small tour. Um, wouldn't that be dope if fucking uh, Twisted did a tour? I know um, ICP, uh, they can't come to Canada because of Shaggy, uh, previous uh, encounters. Um, but it'd be pretty amazing if fucking Twisted wanted to come to Canada and so forth. Um, also, I'm unsure the, the whole thing with Zug Island lately. Like, I'm a big Zug fan. Um, it sounds like they're coming out with a new album, though. And, you know, my hunch is they could be possibly signing with Psychopathic, and maybe that could have been um, a big no-no with Twisted, saying that, listen, you're putting too much on your plate, and you're not even focusing on us, and you're fucking signing another label. Uh, this is purely speculation of what I've seen. Like... That'd be wicked if Zug came back to the Psychopathic because I'm a big fan, as I said before. But um, they have too much on their plate as is. They're, they're not even focusing on, uh, you know, little bands like ABK. Like, they're, they're the underdogs of the fucking Psychopathic. 
and they don't get credit for what they do because they are fucking putting out good quality music. Um, another thing I was thinking of, what um, Strange Music is doing a lot of collaborations with Twisted lately. Um, <clears throat> wouldn't it be fucking weird if, and Prozac is also with Twisted lately, um, wouldn't it be interesting if um, <clears throat> they went over to Strange Music? How would you feel about that, guys? I wouldn't care. But at the same time, I go to fucking shows in Buffalo, and I talk to fucking Prozac, and he feels the underdog because he is from Detroit, and everyone else is from um, KC, just like Boondocks was from Georgia, and everyone else was from uh, Detroit, you know? So Boondocks felt like he was the underdog, because he had to travel, because he, he didn't want to live there permanently because of his family situation, which is understandable. So, he does miss out in a lot of opportunities, and that's why he kind of left, um, and his other reasons and so forth. But, Prozac, I, I have a feeling that he is, like, he he is one of the, like, I'm a, I'm a real big fan of Prozac, and his last tour, um... His set was, like, fucking ten minutes long. There was nobody's from fucking Buffalo, and their, their set was, like, 25 half-hour minutes, you know? And they sucked. And I was like, what? I even went up to Prozac after the show. I was like, yo, you fucking rocked it, but what the fuck? Your set's not long enough. And he's like, yeah, I know. And he looked kind of pissed off, and then he looked at me, and he's like, yo, thanks for your support, and so forth. But... Anyway, that, that's my feeling, and um, I don't care that Twisted left Psychopathic. I think, uh, you know, they can uh, get bigger, and they can spread their wings, and, they, and uh, I think Psychopathic was actually holding them down because they are a lot better than what uh, they, they got promoted for anyway. So, to sum it all up... <clears throat> I'm still a Twisted fan, and I always will be, and I'm going to support them for leaving or not. Um, it's not going to affect my uh, relationship with Psychopathic. Uh, I'm not a little bitch like that. I listen to music. I don't care if they're on Butthole Records. Um, I don't care where they're at. I'm still going to be a big fan of Boondocks. It's just a fucking record label. Who cares? Like People think too much into it. A little fucking politics, and I'm sick of it. So, pretty much... I don't care as long as they're putting out music. All right? Peace.